The Executive Forum brings successful alumni and friends to campus to discuss their career paths and offer advice to students about how they can achieve their goals in life. While the advice is given with undergraduate students in mind, it's often applicable to people in all stages of their careers. Here are a few highlights from the spring 2023 semester. My talk in the forum is, is going to be sharing some of these lessons and the big pieces of advice. And one of them that I learned the hard way is always doing your homework when you're evaluating a new job opportunity. And the mistake we often make is when we go in to interview, we assume it's just the company interviewing us and we're trying to sell ourselves. But we need to be interviewing that company to make sure that's someplace we want to work. They align with our values, that the culture is going to be a fit, that I'm going to enjoy working with these people. Because I have ended up in situations and it was like, oh, this is a mistake because I didn't do my home, I didn't do any investigation. I just sold myself. It's like, oh, I'm going to get this job and I think it's going to be great. And I've never made that mistake since. But I, I love to tell young people, it's like, don't get caught up. You may think it's a sexy title or it's a cool company, but actually do some homework to make sure this is a place where you're going to be able to thrive. You know, everybody that we interview for jobs at the network tells, tells us, oh, I love sports or I love the Big Ten, uh, which is great. I, of course, you do. that's why you're interviewing at the Big Ten network. So how do you differentiate yourself? I'll tell you one no-no and then I'll tell you what I think they should do. This was early on in the Big Ten Network, probably the second or third year of the Big Ten Network. I interviewed a girl once who was either a senior in college or just graduated and she told me that she grew up watching the Big Ten Network. <laughs> I thought to myself, yeah you're not gonna get this job because like, we were two years old at the time so she did not grow up watching the Big Ten Network. So uh, I think that leads into what I, I would tell kids which is do your homework before every job interview. Uh, read up on the, the company you're interviewing with, the person you're interviewing with. Be able to uh, ask really intelligent questions about the job you're interviewing for, the, the company you're going to be potentially working for, uh, the person you're interviewing with. So come prepared and, and talk about those things. And if you can demonstrate that you're that prepared for a job interview, uh, you're going to differentiate yourself from, uh, from all the other candidates. I think the biggest piece of advice I could offer is um, to not feel compelled or obligated to operate in a hurry or a vacuum. I have a rule where if I'm in a situation that I've never been in before, completely foreign content, issue situation, I call my, my general counsel first and uh, depending on how that goes, we get, get a board of directors involved. There's just no point in trying to uh, navigate a difficult or complex issue on your own. And there's a lot of opportunity uh, to come up with better answers and better results when you incorporate multiple perspectives. The willingness to be bold and ambitious in your dream setting and then to use the Purdue network and your overall network to help you find and or to conspire with you to achieve your goals is what I wish for everyone to do uh, as students as they you know, pursue their career here and their studies. What's so amazing about Purdue is there's 500 plus student organizations and my encouragement for everyone is to join things as often as possible, to aspire to be leaders of those organizations because it is basically the building blocks for training how to be a leader in, in corporate America and or as an entrepreneur going forward. I guess a piece of advice I wish I had known was to always utilize the resources that Purdue has even after you've graduated. It's like even after you've graduated, you're still a Boilermaker. You're still part of the family. And I didn't realize that I could still be part of all of the groups and organizations that Purdue offers, whether that's an alumni group or anything else. And not only can I be part of those, but they can help support me in my journey.